Okay, this is the Kia Sorento. I'm going to put some fender covers on here and show you how they fit and how they work. The first model that I'm going to put on is the standard hook model. Uh, I feel that it's a little bit short because I don't think it's going to cover some of this down here and I want to have that covered so the next model that I move to will cover that. But this is the uh, standard hook model. There's magnets inside here uh, which can be shifted to get around things like rubber bumpers and bolt heads and that sort of thing that you might find on the inside bit bit here. On some of the modern vehicles we don't have the normal fender architecture so the fender doesn't come up drop down vertically and I may not be able to tuck the magnets in on this vertical lip in here. As you can see here, it's all covered with plastic. Uh, so in that case, I have hooks here. Uh, there's 20 gauge stainless steel inserts in here with hooks that you can bend, and they'll hook around different places on the inside so that we can get the fender cover to stay anchored. And on the bottom side of the fender cover, again, is the high coefficient of friction surface, which is going to grip against the paint. And the top side of the fender cover has a zero coefficient of friction surface, so you'll just slide over the top of the fender cover. And that acts to have the fender cover stay on the paint and not move, and have the um, technician slide over the top of the cover instead of against the paint. So we're just going to uh, attach this now. And I'm going to use the hooks on the inside lip in here. I'm just going to shift this magnet a little bit here because there's a metal piece in here and I want the magnet to go down on the metal piece. And then back here I have various different options. I can use the hook in here or I can just uh, tuck the magnet down inside like this. And once that's on and anchored, then I should be able to move over the top of this fender cover all day long and not have anything move ever. And you can pull on here and rock a vehicle and it won't come off. You can slide on here with the whole weight of your body, slide all over all day long, and it's going to stay there just like you glued it to the fender. Um, so I'd like to have this area covered here also. So the next fender cover model that I'm going to put on is going to be about a foot deeper, and then that should give coverage on this whole area here. Because these fenders are shorter, so the whole front bumper and grill has now come back to in front of the tire, and this is an area where you're working now. You used to have this fender extended here, but now, since this has come back here, I have to cover this area too. So I'm going to take the standard hook model of fender cover off, and I'm going to put the standard hook deep model of fender cover on to cover this. And to pull it off, we're just going to remove the hooks or the magnets, pull them inwards, and we can fold this up. The magnets will lock north-south, and it would be ready for storage at that point. This is the standard hook deep model of fender cover that I'm going to put on this um, Sorrento now, and it's got an extra foot of depth on it. Okay, so I've got the magnet locked in there, I've got the hook locked in there, and so this cover should be on here to stay. And once again, you can slide up, down, in, out, all around, all day long, and the cover is just there like you glued it onto the fender. But now, you've got coverage of all of this area here, where I was concerned about where the other fender cover wasn't deep enough. So that's the uh, standard deep uh, hook model of fender cover, SDD, uh, STD dash D dash H. And I'm just going to leave that on that fender right now. And then I'm going to put another one the same size on the other side. And then I'll put a cover across the front end to cover off the whole front end. So I'm going to get a cover now and put it on the other side. And I'm just going to use the hooks here because I have a lot of plastic inside and it's difficult to find uh, too much metal for my magnets to lock down in on. And again, these magnets are shiftable, so if you did have metal in here, you could move them around to hit the metal or to get past things like bolt heads and that sort of thing. But here we are hooked on and we're ready to go to work. So once again, I can pull on here and rock this vehicle and it doesn't come off of there. Slide all over all day long and you're just sliding over the top of the cover so it doesn't move. And once again, you've got real nice coverage on this whole fender, so you don't have to worry about scratching anything anywhere here, or dropping the brake fluid, or with air hoses and that sort of thing are sliding over the top. Uh, so with the magnets and the hooks, there is another option if all the magnets and the hooks didn't hold. You have loops here, or you could actually use a rope, hook through, and tie it inside somewhere. And you can just see the loops there. So you can tie through this loop on this end, there's another loop over here on the other end, and you could also use a rope just to hook around here and tie it inside here if you wanted, uh, if you weren't able to use the hooks. 
But here I've just hooked the hook around the uh, hood uh, prop, and you can see that it's holding on there. So I now have uh, both fenders completely and totally covered, and I'm going to uh, cover up this front uh, using two different systems. The first one, I'm just going to use my front hook and grill protector, and that's going to cover off the rest of this, and it's one nice big cover. And this has the magnets and the loops and the tie ropes attached to it. So we're just going to open it up and drop it on. So I have the magnets in here. And they're uh, shiftable so you can uh, move them along if you need to. So if you've got metal and the magnets will hold. If you don't have metal and everything was plastic and the magnets wouldn't hold, again, there's a loop here if you wanted to use it to tie on. I've got tie ropes, three of them distributed across the front here. And generally, you can just uh, put the tie rope right around the hook and then hook it back inside. And so now you're tied around the hook here. And there's a tie rope here in the middle also. And then I'm just going to use this uh, to go around the hook inside here also and then just tie that on. And so then once you've got that secured, then you're on there again and you can just work all day long and not uh, have to worry that it's coming. And you can tie these up a little bit better if you want. I just was uh, kind of trying to do things in a hurry. And you're on and you're set and you're ready to go to work. That wraps that entire front clip of that vehicle. There is also a hole here in the middle if you do happen to have a hood latch or a hood ornament, it would come up through here. Now, the whole front end of the vehicle is wrapped and you've still got total access to the engine bay. And no matter what you do, you can work here all day long. Everything just stays exactly where you want it until such time as you're ready to take it off and um, fold it up and use it for storage. I'm going to show you one other option on the front here. I'm going to take two more of these covers and I'm just going to place one here and one here in place of this big one so that we can cover off the front end with four of these uh, STD-D-H model fender covers in case uh, you only had that uh, model of fender cover in the dealership. So I'm going to take this front bumper and grill protector off now and I'm going to put two more of those on to give you a front wrap with four of that uh, standard deep hook model of fender cover. And again, everything folds up into a nice little neat bundle for storage with the clean side all locked inside. Okay, so I'm going to add two more of these fender covers across the front. Just using the hooks there. And so that's now hooked on. Once again, you're totally covered. So as we walk side to side and walk around the front of this vehicle, you see it's totally, completely covered once again. Nothing's falling off, moving or going anywhere. And the total front end of the vehicle is rough. So if you had four of these standard deep hook model fender covers in the uh, shop, then you could just wrap the whole front end of the vehicle using four of those. Or alternatively, instead of having these two on here, you could have them on another vehicle and you could use the front bumper and grill protector across the front. But the main thing is you've now covered the entire front clip and you don't have to worry about it falling off, moving against the paint, or covering up anything inside that you need to get access to in order to be able to uh, service or repair the vehicle.